Hey friends, today we are making a Gujarati snack that is methi mutia. These mutias are a snack by themselves or they are used in various sabjis like aloo bengan papdi sabzi or just papdi or tuwar ki sabzi and this is one of the main ingredients of undhiu. So let us see the recipe for these. To start with I have taken one cup of fresh fenugreek or methi leaves here which I have washed thoroughly and chopped finely. To this now I am adding 2 tablespoons of green chilli and ginger paste, coarsely ground, 1 tablespoon of oil, 1 tablespoon of curd and I have some dry spices here. I have 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander seed powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin seed powder, 1 teaspoon of ajwine or carom seeds. 1 teaspoon of sugar, you can ignore this if you don't like sweet but it tastes good and 1 tablespoon of white sesame seeds or thin. I will first mix these well with hands so that all the juices from methi comes out. I have mixed these well. So now I am adding half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of salt or your salt as per taste and some asafoetida or hing powder. Mix well again. If you wish you can also add some garlic paste into these. You will see that it has become so juicy now. So now to this I am adding the flours. I am adding 1 fourth cup of gram flour or basin and 3 fourth cup of wheat flour. Make a tight dough without using any water. A tight dough is ready now. Now in case you feel that the flour that I have told you is less and it is watery, you can add some extra flour but make the dough very tight. Let's make muthiyas now from this dough. You can use any shape, a round one or the oblong one, whatever you like. So I am making both the varieties here, few round and few oblong ones. I have shaped one batch of muthiyas, so let's fry them. And while they are frying, meanwhile I will make the other batch. I have heated oil for frying. See that the oil is medium hot and not very hot. So that the muthiyas are fried evenly until the center. Drop the muthiyas one by one into hot oil. And do not touch them for 2-3 minutes. Once they have settled a little, you can start moving them lightly. However, keep flame medium. These are cooked on one side. So now flip over. So that they get cooked on other side as well. It will take a good 6 to 7 minutes. But do not increase the flame. Let it be medium only. These are done. So I will take them out. Let's fry the next batch. This is of oblong ones. So this may take a little longer. Initially keep the flame low. And then we will make it medium. The crispy fragrant methi mutias are ready. Use them with tea time snack or you can use them in sabzis and best it is to be used in undhiu. So make them and store them and enjoy them every week. See you with more recipes. Bye.